And so when we go to Surah Al-Rahman of the Quran, and I cannot expand on it today, but on another occasion we can do that, inshallah, you have to ask yourself the question. Nothing happens in the Quran by accident. Nothing. Allah does not waste words in the Quran, no. When Zulkarnain went in the direction of the rising of the sun, and he came across a people, Lam naj'al lahum min duniha sitra, a people for whom we had provided nothing more as a covering other than what they had naturally. So hence a people perhaps living a primitive way of life. What would he do? How would he respond to them? How would he use power with them? Allah uses only one word, one single solitary word to explain the response. He says, Catholic. Catholic, meaning he's, he met them like that and he left them like that. So one word he uses, one. Should I repeat that for you? He uses only one solitary word. So then why in Surah to Rahman does he repeat 31 times? Has anyone ever answered that question? Is it by accident that Allah has done this? Why this superfluity? Why this repetition? It cannot be by accident. Then give me the answer. Tell me what is the... And I'm speaking now to my critics who are relentless in attacking me and in closing the doors of the masjid to me. Shame on you. I'm asking you to answer me, not those who are coming to me humbly, with humility, with hunger in their hearts for knowledge, with thirst in their hearts for... I'll never speak to them like that, not at all. But to you, who shut the doors of the masjid to me, I'm asking you for the answer. Don't you have any shame? When will you give me the answer? Why has Allah repeated 31 times in Surah to rahman I'm not going to give you the answer, no. No, I want you to tell me the answer. But if you go to Surah to rahman you'll see the Malhama in Surah to rahman And you'll see who the Malhama is going to be attacking, who are going to be destroyed in the Malhama. And you'll see the evidence in Surah to rahman that that is most certainly uh, harmonious with a harmon with a, a nuclear war. Thank you. Amr Radhan who swore by Allah's name in front of Prophet Sallallahu that Ibn Sayyid was indeed Dajjal and the Prophet remained silent on this matter. If the Prophet did not disagree with Umar Radhi statement then why should we say that Ibn Sayyid was not Dajjal? Good. Fine. Let us now use proper methodology. <laughs> Yes. Suleiman alayhi salam saw a vision. And uh, excuse me, I hope you're listening to me. This is not hadith, this is Quran. So when you come at me as though you're always coming at me, remember this is the Quran. Remember you should show respect for the Quran. I'm talking to my critics. Allah gave him the vision of someone sitting on his throne and that someone was a jasad. What he saw in that vision was so terrifying to him. That person sitting on his throne was so evil and he recognized that that person sitting on his throne wants to inherit his kingdom. That's why he's sitting on the throne. He wants to inherit my kingdom. And you will kindly excuse me if I say it's the holy state of Israel. I don't know any other answer to give. So I call it the holy state of Israel. The kingdom of Solomon alayhi salam. And then he responded by making a dua to Allah. Rabbana firli 
wa hab li mulkan la yanbaghi li ahadin min ba'di kindly forgive me o allah and grant that my kingdom may be such that none can inherit it after me none can inherit it after me indicating that my kingdom was must end when i die good who is that sitting on the throne of suleiman alayhi salam who wants to inherit the kingdom and who is an evil being and it terrifies suleiman alayhi salam to such an extent that he makes this dua unprecedented in history that this khilafa state the first khilafa state in history should end when i die my answer is dajjal if you are not comfortable with my answer there is no problem you can have another explanation but if you go beyond that to say that i'm wrong and i'm misguided you must tell me what is right so that i can be sure that i am wrong what is right that you are not doing that and so from this verse of the quran it is confirmed to me that dajjal wants to rule over the holy land and over a holy state of israel Did Ibn Sayyad have even an iota of a connection with that subject? Do I need to continue any further? This is the Quran. I have not touched any hadith as yet. I am dealing with the book of Allah, the Quran. Answer me. There is no connection between Ibn Sayyad and the state of the holy state of Israel and ruling over the holy land. Nothing at all. And Ibn Sayyad could not have been Dajjal, and this is only the beginning of the answer. I don't need to go further than this. If we are indeed living in the age of tall buildings and slavery, why are we not seeing one man would have to handle fifty women? Is it is this a decline of baby boys being born, or is this an indication of loss of manhood among men in the last age? Because baby boys are still being born in the cities, despite eating gm foods and using cellular phones um it's a good question and uh, i can offer an answer and my answer can be wrong and there can be others more competent out there than i am uh, to answer such question now let me give a warning let me give a warning to those of you who believe that imran hussein has an answer to every question and imran hussein is the most learned man in the whole world etc etc let me give a warning that you are going to be dangerous students of mine if you have such views no when i am confronted with a subject where i have inadequate knowledge i always say go to such a man go to this one go to that one because he has more knowledge than i have on the subject when i feel myself competent to answer on a question a question on a subject then i'll offer a an answer i will not teach you anything unless i am convinced that it is correct so when i offer an answer on this hadith about one man having to maintain maintain not marry maintain 50 women I simply offer an opinion and my opinion may be inadequate. Um I for many years I said that perhaps the reason why one man would have to maintain 50 women was was that in akhir zaman there would be a, a an alarming decline in the births of baby boys. and that this will come across because of damage being done to the male chromosomes in the human in the male sperm i don't see why i should withdraw that view that is not yet taking place but there is evidence already that the 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 the, the, the vibrations or the radiations from cellular phones and so on have a damaging effect upon us uh but my 
my last book entitled The Jal the Quran in Awal al Zaman. In that book I had to make I had to make an explanation of the verse of the Quran uh, which is in Surah al Sabah, I think. Walamma Qada Suleiman al Maut Ma Dallahum Mautihi Ladabat al Audi Ta'kulu min Saatahu that when Suleiman alayhi salam died, the jinn who were imprisoned, who were ordered by Allah to work for him, uh, and they, of course, in their world of space and time, they, would not, they were not aware that Suleiman had died. No. And uh, they believed that Suleiman was still alive because they saw someone sitting on his throne holding on to his staff. And so long as that fellow sitting on the throne held on to the staff, they could not recognize it was not Suleiman. No. And so up to this day that I'm speaking, up to this moment I'm here in London, they still believe that Suleiman is sitting on the throat. Yes. And they're still working for uh, that fellow sitting on the throat. And this is one of the reasons why the scientific and technological revolution took place in the, in the Western world. And this is one of the reasons why this, this gigantic exploration of space and the cruise missiles and the satellites and the intercontinental ballistic missiles and the submarine drones at the bottom of the sea and, and, and missiles down embedded in the heart of the earth coming out and so on became possible because they have jinn, evil jinn working with them and will continue to work with them because they could not recognize that Suleiman is dead. They continued up to now as I'm speaking. But then the Quran says that Dabbatul Ard will come and consume the staff. The Quran never said that they'll come and nibble at the bottom of the staff until the staff loses its balance. That came out of Hollywood. The Quran says Ta'kulu they will consume the stuff, meaning consume the miraculous qualities of the stuff. And I came to the conclusion, read my book, the Quran, uh, the Jal, the Quran and Awwal al-Zaman, in which I have suggested, I can be wrong, that the Batul Ard is the electronic waves, the radiations that is consuming us all, all over the world now with your GPS is it called? GPS, GPS. To, yeah, GPS and so on, and your cellular phones, huh? and your um, uh, your smartphones, and your television, and all these things, and uh, the major damage will be done to children. To children, um, I believe that children will lose their capacity to memory. For memory, they won't be able to memorize anything. They will re the past will be gone for them and they will not be able to anticipate the future. The children of, the, of today and tomorrow are going to be imprisoned in the here and the now. So it's not just damage on the male chromosomes in the sperm. It could be far more than that. This was my initial response to the hadith. But then afterwards, after I had traveled in France for some time, <laughs> in France, then I realized that there was also a second explanation for the Hadith. Because the Prophet said that women will dress like men, and that's already happening. But he said that men would dress like women. Yes. When a man dresses like a woman, it could be because he wants to attract another man. But more likely it could be because he's abandoning his role and function as a man in society. And so they do not maintain women anymore. And women have to fend for themselves. It is in that situation where a woman turns to men, you are supposed to maintain me. And a man says, yes, this is the function Allah gave to me. Such men will be very rare, of course. Then such a man would have to maintain eventually 50 women because men will be abandoning the functional role that Allah gave them in society. Yeah. 